Winter is one of those times when people start getting coughs and colds and there's lots of sick days at work. And there's so many conversations about different things that you can do. But today I wanna to share two things that a lot of people don't think about. The first thing is to make sure you get outside. You need to expose your skin to light because your body needs to make vitamin D. Vitamin D is really important for healthy bones, but it's also, it plays a role in the immune system. So it can be something that a lot of people don't think about when it comes to kind of keeping well at winter. So if there's an opportunity to go for a walk in the morning or maybe at lunchtime, just make sure you get outside and show your skin a little bit of light. The other thing is to make sure that you expose your eyes to light. Now we're animals essentially, and we are regulated by light and dark. And our eyes need to be exposed to light to be able to produce hormones that control our mood and our sleep. So if you get up in the morning and you put your sunglasses on and you go to work and you don't see any light at all, it's really not good for you. So make sure that if it's not glaring light, your sunnies are off and you actually give your body an opportunity to get that light in. It'll do great wonders for your sleep and your mood. The second thing is to make sure you're really looking after your gut. Now your gut is the tube that goes from your mouth, it's your esophagus and your stomach, then you've got your intestines and it goes out the other end. There are several kilos of bacteria that live in your gut and you need to look after them, you need to get them healthy. You've basically got an ecosystem on the inside that actually can support you to keep well and keep your immune system really strong. So there's a couple of things you need to consider. Firstly, making sure you're including plenty of fiber rich foods. So that includes your fruits, your vegetables, whole grains, and as well as things like pulses, nuts, and seeds. They are essential. You need a variety of different types of fiber to keep your gut healthy. The second thing is actually trying to get some more good bacteria in there. And one thing I'm loving at the moment is fermented foods. So a couple of examples. Here we've got some kefir, some kombucha, which is a fermented tea. Then we've got some sauerkraut, which is fermented cabbage, and we've got kimchi. And they've got heaps of good bacteria in them, which will really do some good stuff for your gut. So there's some great tips to keep you well this winter, and I look forward to seeing you next time. For more ideas on making healthy happen, check out my website, claireturnbull.co.nz. You can also sign up for my updates there and find out more about the books I've written, Lose Weight for Life and Feel Good for Life.